Hey, this is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and uh, Broke Down Auto. Uh, me and Jeff Bowie today are going to remove and change the seals in our gearbox. Uh, if this video is helpful, please like, share, comment, most of all subscribe. If you want to earn me a couple extra bucks, leave my videos playing with the volume down on your computer so I don't get annoying and hearing my voice. Uh, so today, we got this gearbox out of our 2004 Chevy Silverado 2500 and we were going to change the pitman arm obviously we already did that uh we realized that the input shaft was leaking jeff did i shouldn't say i did i don't want to take all the credit for it so we used the air hammer to knock out the lock nut lock ring right here we unscrew that and then we use snap ring pliers a really large set 90 degrees this was actually pretty loose inside here so then we removed this now I want to talk about what we're pretty certain that if we move the correlation of the arm to this, we're going to have a steering wheel that's off after we get done, so we're going to be really careful. What we did was we set this at top dead 12 o'clock. We would have marked it, but because this is hardened steel, we couldn't do that. So now we can actually, Jeff, will you hold the phone just right there? I'm going to show them how we do this. We're just going to wiggle it and pull it out. And then we'll be able to change all the seals in our Alderman kit. Um, put change the seals, put it back together. Hopefully, this video is helpful. Please like, share, comment. Most of all, subscribe to my channel. Um, and uh, look for me on Kickstarter. Remember, if any other man can do it, you can do it too.